أحسن الله إليكم يقول السائل إذا دخل الداعية على زملائه في العمل وهم على مجلس وهم في مجلس العمل يشاهدون الأفلام وما حرم الله بشكل يومي هل يغضب الانتهاك حرمات الله ويظهر الغضب ويقوم عنهم أم يتبع من يقول ادعوهم بالتي هي أحسن بالابتسامة وعدم الغضب هؤلاء جمعوا بين جريمتين جريمة الأولى إضاعة العمل الذي هم فيه وانشغالهم بهذه الأشياء هذه خيانة للعمل جريمة الثانية وهي أشد أنهم ينشغلون بالمعاصي ينشغلون بالمعاصي والمشاهد المحرمة فأنت تنصحهم إن قبلوا الحمد لله وإلا انتقل إلى مكتب آخر ليس فيه من هؤلاء نعم يعني يطلب النقل يطلب النقل إلى عمل آخر نعم بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد قال العامة صالح بن فوزان بن عبد الله الفوزان حفظ الله تعالى was asked if a caller to Islam enters uh, enters into his uh, his place of employment and his colleagues at work they sit every day at work and they watch uh, movies and what Allah has prohibited every day, they do this, should he become angry at their involvement in that in sinfulness, uh, disobedience to Allah, and display his anger openly and, and leave them? Or should he follow those people who say, call them, to that which is better and smile and do not become angry with them. Alama bin Fawzan Hafidhullah Ta'ala said, those people, they have combined between two crimes. He said the first crime or the first sin is that they are wasting their time at work and they are busying themselves with things which is uh, a deception uh, in which they are deceiving their empl- their employment or their employers in fact the second sin and it is even more severe is that they are busying themselves with sinfulness and watching that which is prohibited so you should advise them. And if they accept it, alhamdulillah. And if not, then transfer to another office where there is where those people are, are, are not present. Meaning, request that you are transferred to another place of work or to, uh, uh, to other work. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.